Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a repentant conservative. This evening, I am joined by my wife, Strongheart. Now, for those of you who will know me and who do know me, and there are a few, uh, Marty will eventually join me on this broadcast, and I'm pretty sure I'll have Paladin and a few others from a game that we play. Say hello, babe. Hi. She's not very talkative at the moment. Okay, so we come out with this new coloring comic book. Well, it's coloring book. I'm not necessarily going to call, call the topic comic. Um, although, to us, it's pretty comical. Um, honey, who menstruates? Uh, women. You're going to have to say it louder. You're going to have to be loud. Women. Again? Women. Like you ha actually have a pair. Oh, shush. <laughs> Women do. Okay. You know I'm soft-spoken. So, if a guy starts menstruating all of a sudden on you, what are you going to do? Drive to the hospital. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, you know... This is the thing, and this is where binary and non-binary and the whole clusterfuck of the situation comes in at. This is where genetics plays a key role. Now, I'm not saying that there aren't gay men and women out there, that there aren't bisexual men and women out there, that there aren't a ton of individuals out there, but I'm sorry. We live in a binary world, do we not? Honestly? I mean, babe, you know, weigh in. Yeah. You know, and all of a sudden I'm a misogynist. You know that? You're making me look like a misogynist. How's that? Because I have to prompt you to speak. Like you need my permission or something on that. No. How many times have you kicked me in the nuts? I hold my own. Oh no, she doesn't just hold her own. <laughs> this woman is a freaking fortress. For those of you who play World of Warcraft, would I want to raid her dungeon? I need a I I don't need a five man group. I need a forty man group just to raid her. Okay? So I don't want to hear he's such a misogynist. No, I have to have forty of my friends just to get past her panties. Okay? Uh now we have such individuals out there in this world that do not understand the concept of two genders. Gender is not based upon what you want to say you are. What is gender based upon? What you're born as. Which I could say I, I could say I'm a unicorn. Does that make me a unicorn? Well, according to the idiots <laughs> out there, yes, it would. Okay. If I wanted to say I was an attack helicopter, could I? <laughs> okay. Hell, I'm an attack helicopter. <laughs> I've critted her ovaries twice in my well, three times in my life. I'm not even going to get into the miscarriage. Sorry. <laughs> yes, I fired a match off. Yes, I lit a cigarette. No, it's not marijuana. So you guys thinking that there's actually a conservative smoking marijuana out there? Well, yeah, I would be if marijuana was legal in my state. Sadly, it's not. Because if marijuana was legal in my state, I'd be making an assload of money and not having to, to depend mm -hmm. upon YouTube to make it. Uh, but anyway, as you can tell, I've only got 
three videos to this point, and I'm hoping to God I can finally figure out what the hell is going on with freaking... Yeah. Anyway. <coughs> so we have this coloring book, The Adventures of Tampon Tony. First off, this should be your first clue. That's messed up. <laughs> well, I mean, if it's a tampon and it's obviously male due to mm -hmm. the name, it's going in the right hole some way, shape, form, or fashion, isn't it? Yeah, but I just can't see a car. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but this is supposed to be written for menstruators of all genders. Excuse me, again, I cover... What gender menstruates? Mm-hmm. Women. <laughs> Female. And I wouldn't necessarily call a, a a girl as young as nine years old, and yes, it's happened even earlier than that. Okay, females, yeah. Okay. But what the fuck? Honestly. <laughs> I mean, you know, I can't. Holy cow. I forgot the other two character names. But, my God. Tampon Tony. I mean, seriously, this is about as screwed up as queer kid stuff. And that girl's just grooming kids to be molested. Okay? She's actually grooming kids to be molested by pedophiles. Her admitted target is three to seven. Oh my God. I mean, seriously. Would you not call CPS on that? Would you not yeah, call Child Protective Services on that? For... Completely inappropriate. Oh my God. And this comic or this coloring book is from the same guy that prompted for queer kid stuff. Oh my goodness. From the same person. Holy crap. I mean, forget about marijuana. I mean, I want to say what type of LSD they're taking. What PCP are they taking? Now, understand, I was sexually abused as a child by my babysitter who was 13 years old and my wife thanks God every day for her teaching me everything I learned. <laughs> but at the same time, she understands the emotional and psych psychological damage it did do. But we're allowing this younger and younger and younger to the point that it's gotten to be disturbing. You know what my boys need to learn about menstruation? As son, when a girl's not on her period and she smells like tuna, if your dick doesn't do a U-turn, then your body needs to and force your dick into a U-turn. That's what my kids need to know about it. Because trust me, as Jim Carrey said in Me, Myself, and Irene, there's a... <laughs> There's a bread bacon in that oven and it's sourdough. Now, let's face facts. Kids don't need to know this. Prepubescents do. What are prepubescents? Girls that are starting to show early developmental signs or developmental signs but I haven't reached Menarch yet. That's when you educate your kids. You don't start them off three to seven. Oh my frack. Yeah, I live out in the country. That's evident by the deer. I took all those pictures in my front yard. Yes, I can afford to, sh to to shelter my children a little bit longer than you guys in the city. But 
but I don't have a bunch of horny 15, 16, 17 year olds trying to molest my kids. But you don't need to be teaching a seven year old boy and a seven year old girl about menstruation, which is what this coloring book is aimed to do. Sorry, hate to tell you. You need to be followed by either the FBI or your local constabulary or your local law enforcement agency, county sheriff, something like that. At that young age, they need to be learning how to fish and hunt and fend for themselves. Yeah. They need to be learning how to function in a world away from society and be self-reliant. They don't need to be learning about the birds and the bees and the multiple genders. I mean, my son's 13 years. Our, our son's what, 13? Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, I've never caught him with a naughty book and he's not capable of hiding one in my house. So trust me, I know all the hiding spots because... When He's I was, not very good at hiding stuff. <laughs> well, <laughs> when I was 13 years old, I was damn good at hiding it, but I damn sure knew, know where to look. <laughs> and he ain't got shit under his, under his mattress. That's for damn sure. But he's never seen a naked girl. Hey, and I know because the school's got all that fil filtered out, thankfully. Trust me, I know. I've been to the school. I've tried to pull it up. It won't pull. Ladies and gentlemen, I am a repentant conservative, otherwise known as Bubble for Win on Wild Hammer, U.S., World of Warcraft, my wife is Strongheart, Wild, World, World of Warcraft, Wild Hammer Realm, U.S. Thank you for listening. Thank you for looking at the deer. Hey, if I'd have had a gun, I'd have probably popped one, but I don't have a gun right now. Although, I am pro-gun rights. Anyway... Y'all have a great evening, and hopefully we'll catch you down the road. Bye!